Welcome to The Homemade Mother. My name is Jasmine and this is my channel. All right, welcome back guys. It is still January. It's still feeling like I'm catching up with life and trying to get back into a normal routine after all the Christmas fun. And today we are going to be continuing our trial and error series where I take gluten-free mixes that I have seen in grocery stores and try them out if they're good. For today's mix, we're going to be doing a muffin mix. Now this muffin mix is completely plain. It doesn't have blueberries or chocolate chips or anything like that. So the brand is called Namaste and this mix actually comes with no sugar added, which I kind of like because then I can just add sugar if I feel like it or leave sugar out if I don't want it. Also, I get to choose what kind of sugar goes in. For this recipe, we're gonna need this box, two eggs, a cup of milk, well, it said water, but I'm gonna use milk, a fourth cup of oil, I'm using avocado oil and if you want you can add in a fourth cup of sugar I am going to be adding sugar into this mix, but I'm actually going to be adding a Non sugar sugar. It's called Lakanto, the sugar that I'll be using and it's an erythral monk fruit blend and I actually really love it. It has a good sweetness, but it doesn't have any funny aftertaste that some of the other non-sugar sugars have, which I think is a good thing. Without further ado, let's get started on this mix. Well, obviously, first we need to add this mix in to our mixer. All right, now we're gonna add our two eggs. First egg. And as always, I like to mix between eggs. Now I'm gonna add the sugar just because I wanna make sure I'm mixed in with all of the mix. So the next thing I'm gonna add is the oil. Like I said, I'm using avocado oil. Okay, and of course, the last thing that we're gonna be adding is our milk. This is Silk's Coconut Milk, and as I always do, I'm going to add a little bit of milk at a time just to make sure that the mix mixes nicely. All right. So our batter is all mixed up and I was a little worried at first. I wasn't sure that it would get to the consistency I was looking for, but it did, which is good. Um, now I'm just gonna scrape down the sides and then we're gonna put them into the cupcake trays. So we have our batter, we have our tray, and I have filled mine with silicone cupcake liners. You could use regular liners if you wanted, but this helps keep things from sticking. It helps keep them shaped nice. And honestly, it just makes my life a lot easier because cleaning out these trays is a lot easier when you got something in there already. So I also have a scoop. It's my cookie scoop. And on the box, it said to fill the cupcake trays to about a three quarter fullness. So we're gonna try and do that. So this recipe said to put these muffins in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes, which seems to be the typical for all the mixes that I have seen so far. And they said to set the oven to 450 Fahrenheit. So we're gonna throw these into the oven and see how it goes. So our muffins are baked. I baked them at 400 Fahrenheit for 12 minutes, and this is how they turned out. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit skeptical about how these are gonna taste just by the way that they look. Let's just jump right in, see how they taste. Oh yeah, that's like a good, that's a good muffin texture. It's not like falling apart, which is nice. Let's see how it tastes. Gosh, if I'm making faces, it's because it might have the texture of a muffin, but it definitely does not does not taste like a muffin. Said, let's get to rating this thing. Okay, on how easy it was to make, I'd give it seven out of 10. It was pretty easy to make, although I do think that they're being a little bit liberal with how much sugar they suggest to add because this doesn't taste like a muffin unless you wanted like a bran muffin. And let me just be clear that they clearly sugar coated the top. There is clearly some sort of sugar crumble on top of this pitcher that is not shown obviously 
in my muffin <laughs> and if you look at the tops of these guys they look a lot more like biscuits in my mind than they do like muffins for the amount of ingredients i had to add in i would give it a 7 out of 10. there wasn't a lot of ingredients but again i think it was a little deceiving i feel like there should have been more sugar in there or some sort of topping or something because this is bland i won't totally rule it out because i think if i added extra ingredients it would probably be better as for the ingredients actually found in the mix i would actually give it a 9 out of 10. it doesn't have corn which i really liked and overall i would say that i know every single item that's in the mix like i understand what they all are which for me is important if i don't understand what it is it kind of makes me not want to eat it now as far as texture goes <sighs> I'm actually having a hard time rating the texture because while when I open it up, it has a good muffin texture, the top to me just looks too much like a biscuit, which is also texture as well. I don't know. I mean, okay, it's not a bad texture, so probably an 8 out of 10. It's muffin-like. Now, as far as flavor goes, I think I would give it a 3 out of 10. It wasn't the worst flavor that's for sure, but it definitely wasn't good. I would need to have a lot of other items in here, or at least something strong and overpowering in flavor to hide that while everything else was pretty good, that was a huge drawback. So I probably wouldn't buy this again. That being said, overall, I would probably give it a six out of 10. And the reason I would give it that low of a mark, even though I rated it fairly high, is because of the flavor, which again, if it doesn't taste good, there's no point in buying it. So while all of those things were pretty good, unless I can fix how this tastes, I'm not going to buy it again. Now, I do have a little bit of batter left, so I am going to add a little bit of extra stuff to try and make the rest of this mix taste better. And if it does, you can check it out on Instagram where I'll be posting it. Otherwise, let's just not do this again <laughs> all right well i mean that's the end of the video so if you liked this video give it a big thumbs up if you want to continue seeing more episodes like this please subscribe to my channel so you can stay on top of what's going on in my world and how i'm making everything just a little bit more homemade now <laughs> this i don't know if i could make it better <laughs> but i'm gonna try so if you want to find out if it ends up being better, then follow me on Instagram. I will link my Instagram down below and you guys can check it out there. That's it. <laughs> Ta-ta for now.